Hello, Sugar here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guest watched its supernatural television show, Archives, for up to eight hours a day for almost two years. And guess what? It worked. He now does the same miracles that he sees on its supernatural television. But he has had literal face-to-face -face encounters with God. And he says he can mentor you so you can have your own face-to-face -face encounters. And it's different than what you're thinking. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Is God ready to bring a tsunami wave of healing onto planet Earth today? Sid Roth has spent over 40 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural! Not only is Tony Kemp now operating the same miracles as my guest, but you told me something. Mm -hmm. Right from the gate, I want to go there. Mm -hmm. You told me God wants to heal people right now. Yes, yes. yes. Tell, tell them. Uh, the Lord spoke to my heart that he was going to heal people today, and he is specifically going to heal people with back conditions. Uh, for the person that has an issue with the spine, you're being healed by Yeshua right now. There's a person you have metal in your back. Uh, you have, there's a person with rods. There's a person with metal in the leg, and it's causing you pain and discomfort, and you're being healed by Yeshua right now. There are creative miracles. You're going to discover that your pain is decreasing. You're going to discover your pain is going to go away. And there's going to be uh, two different kinds of miracles in regards to uh, this mental miracle. The metal's going to remain, but the pain will be gone, and you'll have perfect mobility. And in other cases, your metal is going to literally disappear. It's going to be replaced with bone, and all your pain's going to be gone. <laughs> Jesus is doing it for you right now. <laughs> well, Tony. You're supposed to turn the table, I John. Am Are you going to do it? I am going to turn the table, Watch this, you. everyone. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I've been on your program a number of times, and uh, you've always interviewed me, but I want to interview you. And uh, what is a Jewish man? How did you come to know Jesus as your Messiah? I was looking for happiness. Just trust me, you're going to make money. I was successful in business, but I realized that I would not be a millionaire by age 30. Depression and hopelessness set in. I even checked out the bar scene. I mean, after all, I was really young when I got married. But I'm convinced the bars are filled with the most hopeless, loneliest people in the world. So one day someone said, uh, I have a friend that took a new age course and now he knows things that was never programmed in his mind. So I took the course, and making a long story short, I was violating my own Jewish scriptures and didn't know it. In the 18th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, God says it's an abomination to be involved with witchcraft, uh, uh, reincarnation, uh, going to fortune tellers, being involved with psychics, seances, new age, and you suffer consequence. I did. I knew something. I knew there was something evil inside of me, and I wanted out. If you ever saw the movie or read the book The Exorcist, mm -hmm. 
I was living it. But what is a Jewish, what does even a Christian person do that's like that? Most ministers aren't equipped to, to help you. I had nowhere to go. And so I'd met some Christian friends who said, if you will pray to God in the name of your Messiah, Jesus, he'll set you free. Well, you know, Tony, when someone is going down for the third time in the middle of the ocean, you don't care who throws you a rope. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, I prayed a very simple prayer, two-word prayer, Jesus, help. help. And I went to bed, and I did not want to wake up. Life was too hard. But I did wake up the next morning, and there was a presence of God. It was thick, it was tangible. Today I know it's the glory, the manifest presence of God. And I can just tell you, it came in my room. That demon that was inside of me couldn't take the heat. It left. I was separated from my wife for a year uh, at that point. And I heard the audible voice of God for the first time in my life. He said, I hate divorce. Return to your, I didn't know he was quoting Malachi. Mm -hmm. He was quoting Malachi. I found it in the Bible. I was so excited when I found it. <laughs> he said, I hate divorce. Return to your wife and daughter. And so Joyce and I have been uh, married for uh, 53 years. Amen. And uh, <laughs> that's how, that's the short story of how I became a believer in Jesus. Well, the glory of God touched your life and you heard the voice of the Lord. And because you had this supernatural encounter with God, you were given a hunger for the supernatural and a passion for the miraculous. Tell us a little bit about how that developed. Uh, well, I have to tell you, a lot of people judge me. First of all, you're not supposed to judge me according to the Bible. Second of all, a lot of people judge me and say, oh, he just is so crazy for miracles. No, no. The, if you read the Bible, you will see there is a biblical way to get people saved. It's called demonstrate the kingdom and earn the right to present the king. And I'm, my passion is souls. He who wins souls is wise. And I want you to know that I can, I'm amazed, Tony, and you know this because you're on my board, mm -hmm. that I'll go in front of a, a thousand Jewish people that know nothing about the Messiah, and I'll have a couple of words of knowledge, and 60, 70 percent of unsaved Jewish people say, I've just been healed, and I'm in more awe than they are, and then they will listen to a newer presentation from the Jewish scriptures as to why Jesus is the Messiah. That's God's way. I want to do things God's way. Maybe things aren't working because we're not doing things God's way. That's why, I don't mean to yell at you, but I'm excited. <laughs> That's why mm -hmm. I am so fascinated with the supernatural. It earns the right for me to present the gospel. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And when we come back, I'm going to turn the tables back on Tony Kemp, mm -hmm. and I'm going to find out about his face-to-face -face with God. Be right back. <laughs> We will be right back to It's Supernatural. Hello, YouTube, Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural. We now return to It's Supernatural. So, Tony, you spent 26 years in ministry. Very few miracles, maybe a headache here or there, right. and, that, and that was it. Right. And then you found out about It's Supernatural, mm -hmm. but why did you watch it so much? Well, I mean, eight hour, up to eight hours a day for close to two years, that's a lot. And sometimes even more than that. Here's, here's what happened. 
I, I became frustrated because I was not seeing in my life what the Bible says. And I knew that there was more, there was something more. And I was pursuing that more. And I actually came across your program on accident, but the, by, by divine, God's divine will. And I was listening to the guests and they were sharing their relationship with Jesus, their relationship with the Father, new truth concerning faith and the anointing and the glory. And they were giving examples of how they were touched by God and how other people were receiving signs, wonders, and miracles. And I just felt so much hunger and I thought to myself, they have something I don't have. I'm going to admit to God and to myself, I don't have it. And I'm going to listen and learn. I'm going to humble myself and I'm going to get the revelation to see the miraculous. That's what happened. And there's something, you know, we, we have these, these shows, there's no charge, the archives, you can, you can go to our webpage or uh, YouTube or any of these and watch these ar archives. I have people that watch it every single day, a, a new show, and there's something about watching it that activates you uh, so much. Yes. I began to, to listen to the guests, the teaching of the Word. I began to receive the breath, the wind of the Spirit, and it was like I absorbed the revelation that they were sharing. And that revelation turned into a personal reality. And then when I began to share the revelation of the Word, it became the reality in people's lives, and they began to see instantaneous or immediate miracles. Now, this was about how many years ago? Oh, let's see, this is 2008, so we're going back 2005 and onward. 2004, huh. 2005. Okay, onward. now, if you, if uh, there, there is a new tool in town, mm -hmm. it's called the Supernatural Bible. And I put everything in this Bible that I wanted for myself. Mm -hmm. If you had had this new tool, mm -hmm. I believe that it would have speeded up a lot of what happened in your life. Oh, absolutely, because in this Bible, which I just recently started preaching out of, um, you, you talk about the power of the blood of Yeshua. You talk about God's cycle of blessings. You talk about our, nest, uh, our need to be filled with the Spirit and pray in the Spirit. There's teaching in this, uh, one of the great features of this, there's teaching on healing. There's teaching on how to receive miracles or how to minister in the area of miracles. There is teaching on really how to know God and how to receive divine favor and how to minister to the Jewish people and others. And so that in and of itself can propel or catapult a person into the supernatural. I put in this what I've learned in, now it's, it's, it's pushing almost 40 years of ministry. We have uh, chain references. Uh, I, uh, Dr. Sandra Kennedy, she did, she's one of the finest teachers I know in receiving healing. And she did a chain reference where she tastes the scripture and uh, she highlights it and then teaches on it in healing, her favorite healing scriptures. Then I had my friend, Dr. Michael Brown, and I said, Mike, I want you to find the most important prophecies as to why Jesus is the Messiah, and I want you to do a commentary. He writes why the prophecy tells about Jesus, what the rabbis have to say as to why they say it doesn't, and what the truth is. It, it, you, you will see levels. People are reading this and they're telling me it's become their favorite Bible. Uh, it doesn't look a whole lot like a Bible. It's got a menorah on one side and the Star of David on the other. Uh, and the, what I've done is I've recaptured the Jewish feel in the Bible. I've taken words such as my, my, my wife's favorite thing that she gets upset about is, why do you call Jesus Christ? Why don't you call him what everyone will understand? Call him his title. That's what Christ is, his title. It's not his last name. Jesus the Messiah. Yes. That's what we say in the Bible. Yes. Then uh, in, instead of uh, uh, words like trumpet, every time a trumpet is mentioned. Did you know there are many cases in the Bible where it's shofar? But not all, 
Some it is trumpet. So where it's where it's shofar, we recapture what it is. You know what a shofar is. It's nice to know. It's not the thing with the trumpet that Phil Driscoll plays. <laughs> you know, when we come back. <laughs> we're going to do what I said we were going to do. We're going to find out about his face to face with God and what he means by it and how you can have a face to face with God. We will be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now and get the Supernatural Bible Package, which includes the Supernatural Bible and Tony Kemp's brand new book, Face to Face with God. Yours for a donation of $59. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9553. The Supernatural Bible is based on the respected King James Manuscript, the first updated version in 30 years. 47 distinguished translators and researchers devoted nine years to making a good translation even better. The first sections of the Supernatural Bible contain over 50 pages of the best teaching on the supernatural and Israel. There are added references to the Hebrew rather than Greek for a dozen key words and names. Instead of Jesus, you will see his Hebrew name, Yeshua. The mother of Yeshua is referred to as Miriam instead of Mary. Included is Dr. Sandra Kennedy's powerful article entitled, Healing Belongs to You, along with commentary on her favorite healing scriptures. Dr. Michael Brown, a Jewish believer and scholar, includes his article, An Introduction to the Messianic Prophecies, and he adds commentaries on the best scriptures proving Yeshua is the Jewish Messiah. The Supernatural Bible includes chain referenced commentaries by Dr. Sandra Kennedy and Dr. Michael Brown, appearing throughout the Bible next to the highlighted passages on healing and messianic prophecies. Also featured are additional commentaries. Stephen Brooks imparts five proven steps to manifest your healing. Robert Heidler teaches on the biblical feasts as being God's cycles of blessings. Sid Roth shares how to walk in the favor of God every day. Included is Sid Roth's article on God Talk, which will motivate you to pray in tongues more than ever to fulfill your God-given destiny and purpose. Sid Roth also makes sure that the message of the power of the blood of Yeshua will no longer remain stolen from this church generation of believers. And as a special bonus, you will receive Tony Kemp's brand new book, Face to Face with God. It's a practical guide to manifesting heaven's agenda in your life. Understand how to enter into face to face encounters with God. Don't miss out on getting the Supernatural Bible Package, which includes the Supernatural Bible and Tony Kemp's brand new book, Face to Face with God. Yours for a donation of $59. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9553 or get two sets, one for you and one to give away as a gift. Two sets for only $95. That's almost a 40% savings. Please specify offer number SP9553. Call or you can send your check of $59 for one set. Ask for offer number 9553 or $95 for two sets. Ask for offer number SP9553. Send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina 28278 or log on to SidRoth.org. Tony, tell me what you mean. First of all, tell me about a face-to-face -face briefly that you had. Yes. Um, I was in uh, Louisiana, state of Louisiana. I was at the house of a friend. I was doing some meetings down there, and uh, Jesus appeared to me, and this is what he said. He said, I've given you the authority and the power to follow me. He said, if you'll follow me, you'll become like me in life. And if you become like me in life, you'll become like me in ministry. Hallelujah. And the focus of Jesus was his father. And the focus of my life is Jesus so that I can know Jesus and know the father. And if I become like Jesus in life, I'm going to see some supernatural, wonderful things happen in my personal ministry. Now, okay, you, you had this type and many visitations face-to-face mm -hmm. -face with the Lord. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by face-to-face? -face? Well, first of all, let's, let's look at a sinner. This person gets under conviction for sin, and he has the leading of the Holy Spirit to receive Jesus as his Messiah. That is a God encounter. 
when a person experiences what you talk about in this new Bible, God talk, being filled with the Holy Spirit, this is face to face with God because it improves and increases your intimacy with the Father and Jesus. When we talk about divine healing, like Stephen Brooks literally takes scriptures in this Bible for categories of diseases, says if you apply these scriptures, you can be healed. Sandra Kennedy takes scriptures here. For example, I was teaching out of this Bible and I was going through scriptures for now, healing. Excuse me, that thing on Stephen Brooks is amazing. Yes. If like you have a specific problem like bone disease, he has a scripture just for bone bone disease. Yes. You follow? For specific things. Yes. I think this is phenomenal. Yes. And I literally taught when I was in Syracuse uh, about categories of disease and divine healing. A woman who had been deaf, a Russian woman, we had a lot of Russians attend this particular service, a Russian woman uh, who had been deaf in her ear, totally deaf in her ear for 15 years, starts hearing instantly. And so what the, one of the advantages of, of this Bible is I don't have to run around and search for the scriptures. You have them all together right there for me so that I can help, I can be helped by God to minister to the people. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention the translation uh -huh. is, is the uh, modern English version. Yes. Which is, the, it's based on the King James, but it's the first update of the King James in some 30 years years. Yes. So it's a fabulous translation. And there are so many words, not a lot maybe, but uh, there's at least 10 or 12 words yeah. that I have recaptured. It will be your favorite Bible. To, to, to go on answering your question, a lot of times when we talk about face to face with God, we talk about dramatic dreams, visions, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, experiences with angels, seeing Jesus face to face. But when I talk about face to face with God, I'm talking about a father or a mother who's praying for their child. And all of a sudden the Holy Spirit quickens in them or makes them to become aware that something is going on with that child. God gives them a revelation. They go in on a, on a search and discovery and find out that's true. Or maybe a person has two job options and they think about one job, job option and they, they're disturbed. They think about the other and they have peace. This is face to face with God. And so when I talk about face to face encounters with God, I'm talking about discerning the voice of the Lord, discerning what God is not in and discerning what God is in and discerning what God is saying and doing in the now. And, and you offer, uh, on the bonus book that we're sending, you offer keys, one quick key, oh just one. Oh my, oh my. Um, <laughs> here's, here's what I say to people. I say you have, you have the encounter with God where he gives you a word and a treasure. And then you go through a process where you may experience just the normal difficulties of life, what we call trials, okay? But the Lord is using all of that for me to grow in the intimate knowledge of my Lord and Savior, Jesus the Messiah. So you're going to drive the devil nuts. It's not coming from God, but uh -huh. you're going to drive him nuts because God gets the glory out of everything. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because 2 Peter 3 and 18 says, grow in the grace and the intimate knowledge, just not information, but that personal knowledge of my Lord and my God and my Savior, Jesus the Messiah. Yeah, you know, there's just so much that uh, Tony has to share. I can't wait for him to tell you his revelation from heaven, literally going there, and the lake of fire, literally seeing what that is like. Mm -hmm. And we don't have the time on the show, but you can go to SidRoth.org and pick up the show right now. Uh, in addition to Tony, we have Dr. Michael Brown and Dr. Sandra Kennedy. I can't wait for you to find out all the good things they're going to have to tell you. And I can tell you this, Tony, there are people watching us that say, that man knows God. That man knows God. I want to know God like they know God. Well, guess what? God wants you to know him more than you want to know him. Amen. I want you to say this prayer with me. Oh, the presence of God is here for you to experience God, for you to have experiential knowledge of him right now. Say this prayer out loud. Dear God, Dear God I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I believe your blood, I believe your blood washes, away my sins. washes away my sins. And now that I am clean, now that I am clean come, into my heart. 
Come inside of me, Jesus. Come inside of me, Jesus. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I want to know you better. I want to know you better. Amen. Amen. So go to SidRoth.org right now. <laughs> Sid Roth is announcing the release of a brand new translation of the Bible that will transform your life, the Supernatural Bible, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Call now and get the Supernatural Bible package, which includes the Supernatural Bible and Tony Kemp's brand new book, Face to Face with God, yours for a donation of $59. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9553. The Supernatural Bible is based on the respected King James Manuscript, the first updated version in 30 years. 47 distinguished translators and researchers devoted nine years to making a good translation even better. Archaic words and idioms are updated in modern English based on the finest research. Here's what makes the Supernatural Bible truly unique. The first sections of the Supernatural Bible contain over 50 pages of the best teaching on the supernatural and Israel. There are added references to the Hebrew rather than Greek for a a dozen key words and names. Instead of Jesus, you will see his Hebrew name, Yeshua. The mother of Yeshua is referred to as Miriam instead of Mary. The epistle or letter of Jude reads as Judah. Included is Dr. Sandra Kennedy's powerful article entitled, Healing Belongs to You, along with commentary on her favorite healing scriptures. Sid Roth says that Dr. Kennedy is the best teacher on healing that he knows. Dr. Michael Brown, a Jewish believer and scholar, includes his article, An Introduction to the Messianic Prophecies and he adds commentaries on the best scriptures proving Yeshua is the Jewish Messiah. The Supernatural Bible includes chain referenced commentaries by Dr. Sandra Kennedy and Dr. Michael Brown, appearing throughout the Bible next to the highlighted passages on healing and messianic prophecies. Also featured are additional commentaries. Stephen Brooks imparts five proven steps to manifest your healing. Robert Heidler teaches on the biblical feasts as being God's cycles of blessings. Sid Roth shares how to walk in the favor of God every day. Included is Sid Roth's article on God Talk, which will motivate you to pray in tongues more than ever to fulfill your God-given destiny and purpose. Sid Roth also makes sure that the message of the power of the blood of Yeshua will no longer remain stolen from this generation of believers. And as a special bonus, you will receive Tony Kemp's brand new book, Face to Face with God. It's a practical guide to manifesting heaven's agenda in your life. Understand how to enter into face to face encounters with God. Walk in the supernatural of God every day and so much more. Don't miss out on getting the Supernatural Bible Package, which includes the Supernatural Bible and Tony Kemp's brand new book, Face to Face with God. Yours for a donation of $59. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9553. Or get two sets, one for you and one to give away as a gift. Two sets for only $95. That's almost a 40% savings. Please specify offer number SP9553. Call or you can send your check of $59 for one set, ask for offer number 9553 or $95 for two sets. Ask for offer number SP9553. Send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Well, I'm here with Tony Camp again and uh, Tony, uh, we were talking about the Supernatural Bible, and we were talking about you watching our older videos, our archives of It's Supernatural, and I mean, you, you couldn't get enough. You went up to eight hours a day for almost two years, and then you came out moving in the Supernatural like all of my guests, and you've been a guest mm -hmm. uh, many times. Mm -hmm. But I want you to tell me, and this may surprise you, I want to know what you saw about the Lake of Fire. Um, first of all, the best way for me to describe it uh, in, in terms that we can understand is this, if someone has seen a volcano erupt with hot lava, um, the smoke, uh, the, the brimstone, and the fire. And, that's, and, if, and the best way for me to describe it is if a person could think of uh, being out and seeing the ocean and seeing a lake of fire for as far as your eye can see. And then what happened, Sid, is I was taken up, um, taken to see a single individual in the fire. And so um, 
the best way for me to describe what this individual is experiencing is if a person s stuck their head into a hot oven, turned it up as hot as possible, and, and, and had that heat forced up through them, where all of their senses are heightened. In other words, their ability to see, to hear, to feel, to smell. Uh, there, is, there is no life of any kind there. It is every kind of death that a person can imagine. They still have all their memories from the earth, uh, they still have hunger, they still have thirst, the pain is excruciating beyond description, and the sense of hopelessness and depression and the fact that they're going to be there forever because they, because they chose to neglect so great a salvation and said no to Jesus as their Messiah. And it's not something that the Father wanted. It's something that the Father hates. No, it's His desire that all come to know Him. Uh -huh. So anyone that thinks, oh, I've just been too bad, no. It's His desire yes. that you would know Him. Of yes. course you've been bad. You didn't know Him. Yes. Come and know Him. Yes. Yes, and so uh, this is not what the Father wants. I mean, this is why he, this is why Jesus was crucified. This is why he was buried. This is why he was raised to life. This is why uh, Jesus is appearing uh, to Jewish people, non-Jewish people, to let people know I am alive. I'm the living one. To give witness to the fact that hey. God loves you. You're already reconciled to God. In order for you to step into salvation, you just need to accept what Jesus has done for you by repentance, by faith, by surrender to the living God. With what you've seen, mm -hmm. is there any chance you would backslide? Oh, no. For, I'm, listen, first of <laughs> I, all, I couldn't resist. First, I'm sorry. First, first of all, <laughs> I'm having the time of my life with Jesus. <laughs> and, this is what I say to people. Um, I, I'll share this. Um, one of the things about heaven, in addition to the incredible, indescribable love, is I remember uh, landing in heaven, and uh, there's a song that says, um, I can only imagine. Yeah. It's a great song. I don't have to imagine, because when I landed, it was like, we'll call it ground, to, to have a uh, phrase that we're familiar with. And I remember I was on the ground, and the joy of the Lord, because remember, Jesus said, enter into the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord explodes on the inside of me, explodes. It's indescribable. It's unspeakable joy, just like Peter said. And I remember I am vibrating with this joy. I'm in total, complete ecstasy. And I like to say this, that if somebody was standing around and you landed in heaven, they would say, this is a newbie. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're totally overwhelmed with the love of the Father and the joy of Jesus. It's amazing. It's incredible. What did you learn from your visitation to heaven about worship? Oh, my. Um, here's what I would say to people. Um, it's, all, uh, it's, it's all about the Father and Jesus. And see, what I, what I would say to people is this. Here on the earth, I'll take something from heaven and bring it to the earth, is um, and I saw this in heaven. The Father in, inhales your praise, and he exhales his glory. And so when, when, when the Bible says in the, in the Hebrew songbook 22, verse 3, it says, you're holy and you live in my praises. So the Father inhales my praise, he exhales his manifest presence. And whenever the manifest presence comes, people get saved, people get healed of sickness and disease, people get delivered from the evil one, people get filled with the Holy Spirit, they experience the love and the joy of the Father, and they experience most of all Jesus the Messiah. So it begs the question. Uh, I mean, I, I, I got that mathematical yeah. formula. Yeah. Uh, the more I worship, the more the glory. Yes. But how would you recommend I worship, those, those viewing worship? Yeah, worship, a lot of times when we think of worship, we think of music. Mm -hmm. But worship really is, um, I receive the love of the Father through Jesus, and I return love to the Father through Jesus. What I saw in heaven was I saw, number one, I saw the glory of God. 
I saw a, uh, a figure in the form of the man, but I couldn't see through the bright light. Or Excuse the me, when you saw the glory of God, what, what do you mean by what, what did you see? Um, the essence of who the Father and Jesus is. That love, that truth, that holiness. It just radiates is, out of it, it emanates from out of him, and it was so much light, I couldn't see any. I tried, Sid, to see the facial features of God the Father. You know, picture him in, in heaven with his sunglasses <laughs> on to see through the glory. <laughs> and, and, and so first there was the light that emanated from the Father, and then there was this smoke of this cloud that surrounded him. And when we were talking about worship, I saw sons and daughters on their knees, bowing down their faces, giving love to the Father all at once. Everybody made the same move at the same time, coming up and down. And then what I saw was, and, and I know this may sound strange because the Bible talks about Re uh, Book of Revelation, chapter 8, incense rising. I saw uh, like a cloud, the best way, like a cloud came up out of the uh, out of the life of every son and daughter of the Father, and then it, it became like a cloud, and then the Father did this. And of that entire cloud, the love of every son and daughter literally went into him, and he enjoyed the love, and then he exhaled. When he exhaled, light and glory went into every son and every daughter. <laughs> and what the Father was showing me is if we would worship here on the earth, the Father through the Messiah Jesus, he would inhale the, our love and our worship, but he would exhale his manifest presence and his glory, and we would see manifestations of God like we have never seen before. You know, something that I am doing more and more, and uh, it's becoming almost natural for mm -hmm. me right now, Tony, mm -hmm. is every little good thing that happens to me, even though I could say coincidence, or it might have happened anyway, I give God the credit, mm -hmm. and I say, thank you, Lord. I'm living my life being thankful. A friend of mine uh, lost his air conditioning. He is so thankful for getting that air conditioning yes. back. He said, I couldn't exist without that air conditioning. Changed my whole life. Be thankful for every little thing and every little thing. I tell you, the favor of God will come on you, and it's going to become big things. When we come back, I want to introduce you to my friends, Dr. Michael Brown and Dr. Sandra Kennedy, and they have info that is going to revolutionize your life. Be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural! Sid Roth is announcing the release of a brand new translation of the Bible that will transform your life. The Supernatural Bible, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Call now and get the Supernatural Bible package, which includes the Supernatural Bible and Tony Kemp's brand new book, Face to Face with God. Yours for a donation of $59. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9553. The Supernatural Bible is based on the respected King James Manuscript, the first updated version in 30 years. 47 distinguished translators and researchers devoted nine years to making a good translation even better. Archaic words and idioms are updated in modern English based on the finest research. Here's what makes the Supernatural Bible truly unique. The first sections of the Supernatural Bible contain over 50 pages of the best teaching on the supernatural and Israel. There are added references to the Hebrew rather than Greek for a dozen key words and names. Instead of Jesus, you will see his Hebrew name, Yeshua. The mother of Yeshua is referred to as Miriam instead of Mary. The epistle or letter of Jude reads as Judah. Included is Dr. Sandra Kennedy's powerful article entitled, Healing Belongs to You, along with commentary on her favorite healing scriptures. Sid Roth says that Dr. Kennedy is the best teacher on healing that he knows. Dr. Michael Brown, a Jewish believer and scholar, includes his article, An Introduction to the Messianic Prophecies 
and he adds commentaries on the best scriptures proving Yeshua is the Jewish Messiah. The Supernatural Bible includes chain-referenced commentaries by Dr. Sandra Kennedy and Dr. Michael Brown, appearing throughout the Bible next to the highlighted passages on healing and messianic prophecies. Also featured are additional commentaries. Stephen Brooks imparts five proven steps to manifest your healing. Robert Heidler teaches on the biblical feasts as being God's cycles of blessings. Sid Roth shares how to walk in the favor of God every day. Included is Sid Roth's article on God Talk, which will motivate you to pray in tongues more than ever to fulfill your God-given destiny and purpose. Sid Roth also makes sure that the message of the power of the blood of Yeshua will no longer remain stolen from this generation of believers. And as a special bonus, you will receive Tony Kemp's brand new book, Face to Face with God. It's a practical guide to manifesting heaven's agenda in your life. Understand how to enter into face to face encounters with God. Walk in the supernatural of God every day and so much more. Don't miss out on getting the Supernatural Bible Package, which includes the Supernatural Bible and Tony Kemp's brand new book, Face to Face with God. Yours for a donation of $59. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9553 or get two sets, one for you and one to give away as a gift. Two sets for only $95. That's almost a 40% savings. Please specify offer number SP9553. Call or you can send your check of $59 for one set. Ask for offer number 9553 or $95 for two sets. Ask for offer number SP9553. Send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. I can't tell you how excited I am to finally have this Bible. In fact, Mike, you said to me uh, that this, tell me about when you did these notes for this Bible. Yeah, for years, people have wanted me to take all these volumes I've written, it's, you know, a lot for someone to read, and take the highlights and put it in a Bible, Messianic prophecies, why these point to Yeshua, why the rabbi's objections are wrong. And for years I've been asked to do it, and for years I said I want to do it, but when you asked me, I finally had grace to do it. I mean, in the midst of all the other writing projects, I had this window, and I felt God, I, I felt like I was running this race and being carried along, and the, the notes just flowed. So finally, after decades, we're able to put this stuff in the Bible literally for the first time. The truth of the matter is that with this new Bible, you are going to have the revelation of what is so dear to God's heart right now, so special to Him at this moment, because it says in Romans 9, and I've just been dwelling on this, Mike and Sandra, of the Jewish people, of them, it's the glory. What is the next great move on planet Earth? The glory. And I believe the catalyst for the glory will come from Jewish people. There are millennials all over the world that are recognized that there's nothing worthwhile in this Earth. But once they hear the good news, once they understand Jeremiah 31, 31, which says there'll be a new covenant for you, and the Word will not just be on the outside, it'll be on the inside of you. And you will know God for yourself, not because someone preaches a good message. You'll know God for yourself. And all of your sins I won't just cover as we did in the Old Covenant. <laughs> oh, no, no, I will remember them no more. That's in the Jewish Scriptures. Mike, Isaiah 53, I don't think it's an accident that Isaiah 53 is the most graphic description in the Jewish Scriptures about Jesus, and Sandra, I don't think it's an accident, but I believe the major foundation for healing is found when you understand the Hebrew in Isaiah 53. You did a PhD on that subject. What, what does the Hebrew say about healing in the 53rd chapter of Isaiah? 
this is, this is the view of the prophets, the whole man wholly healed. By getting healed on the inside, we're healed on the outside. They did not look at it just spiritual healing while Israel dies and languishes in exile, or just physical restoration without the inside. So when it says, with a havara ton near palano, with the cost of his wounds, there's healing for us. It's inside, it's outside. That's the vision of the prophets. By Jesus dying for our sins, he thereby provides healing for the whole man. That's what's there. It's a glorious text, and it's, it's, it's one that we can never dive into too deeply. And Sandra, if I was to force you to comment on Isaiah 53 in healing after that brilliant <laughs> description, what would you say? I'd start off with verse 1. I'd say, you've got to believe the report in order to see the power of God. You've got to believe the report of what the Isaiah 53 says. You have to believe that He is the Messiah. You have to believe that He is the coming one. You have to believe that the Lord has done what He said He would do. And you have to understand that He really did take for us in our place. In other words, He carried our sins. He carried our griefs. He took, He bore them. If He bore them and He carried them, I don't need to be bearing anything nor carrying anything. He took care of everything for me, but I got to believe the report first. I got to believe the report. And the Messiah said, when His Spirit left His body hanging on the tree for you, it is finished. Yes. That means stop your stinking thinking and start thinking like God. According to Isaiah 53 from a Hebrew scholar and a scholar of, of, of healing in the Scriptures, by His stripes you were healed. Finished. It is finished. <laughs>